Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Mr. Chairman, uh, I rise in opposition to the amendment offered by the gentleman from Oregon. Um, small business owners are going to be enrolled in an, automatically in a program that sets aside 6% of the value of an SBA guaranteed loan to pay off that loan, as was previously described. While I appreciate very much the gentleman's uh, effort to reduce the financial burden on small business owners, there's a number of problems uh, with this program. First, it forces business owners to opt out of a federally mandatory set-aside of funds. And this is going to reduce the amount of capital available because disbursements of those set-aside funds are made to the bank uh, or loan servicer instead of small businesses. Second, by requiring an opt-out, it suggests that a federal agency, the SBA, uh, is better at managing a small business rather than its, than its owner, a conclusion that I obviously strongly dispute. And third, loans under the 7A loan program are just that. Mr. Chairman, they're loans. Uh, it seems rather absurd to have the SBA automatically set aside funds in order to pay off a loan it's just approved. Fourth, the size of the loans in the program is limited to those businesses with loans of less than 300000 And I wonder why are these businesses favored over small business owners who may need a slightly larger amount uh, of capital. By making the program available uh, for loans of less than $300,000, I guess it suggests that small business owners are uh, at that level are less credit worthy uh, and incapable of managing their finances as opposed to a business uh, requiring a little bit larger loan. Um, all these points, Mr. Chairman, uh, uh, you know, are points that I make. I just strongly dispute, uh, you know, the reason for this, uh, uh, for this program, and for that reason, I oppose uh, the gentleman's amendment. Again, I appreciate very much his efforts and what he's trying to do, but uh, but I can't agree with this at all. I'd reserve the balance of my time. Gentlemen.